Good morning everyone. So we're now going to talk about sets. Learning competency is to illustrate well-defined sets, subsets, universal sets, null set, cardinality of sets, union and intersection of sets, and the difference of two sets. So first one, what is a set? A set is an organized collection of objects with common characteristic that is set and there are three ways to describe sets. One is written expression, another is through listing or roster method, and while another is by set notation. So another definition of set is that it is a well-defined collection of different objects. Any object such as the number, numbers, people, letters of the alphabet, and symbols can make up sets. So one famous set is a sala set. So a sala set is made up of of couch of chairs and table so that is a sala set so it's a set of objects so um, another examples of sets are number one these are the possible examples of sets the old provinces in region 12 so we're going to identify all the possible answers for this st statement below so all the provinces in region 12 are example this if we're going to call this set A, so you're going to write this, that is a brace. So what you're going to do is you're going to write it inside. So A is equal to what are the provinces in region 12? There is North Cotabato, there is South Cotabato. There is Sarangani, and the last one is Sultan Kudara. I hope I'm right. Next one is the numbers greater than 8. So the numbers greater than 8 are many actually. So it could be 8.1, 8.2, 9, 10. All the possible answers cannot be written, so we're just going to write that, that, that. It means that there are still more answers. So let's name the letter B and then the braces. All subjects in grade 7, so you may start answering them So as your activity. So there again, there are three ways to write a set. The first one is the definition. So this is the definition of the set or the set of vowels in the English alphabet, the set of five animals with four legs, or the set of counting of counting the members of a set, such as the set of counting the members of a set. So, number two, by listing each member of a set like one, two, three, four, five. So, um, the example of it is this one. So, 8, 1, 8.1, 8.29, and 10. So just going to write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, but however, the last one, which is what we're going to use, is the set notation, such as the primary color equal to braces, red, yellow, blue. Um, one thing that you should remember that each element of the set must be unique. So it means that they should not be repeat, repeated. So there should no two yellow, two red, or two blue in the set. So again, this is the set notation and there should no be no repetition of elements. The elements, these are the elements. What are inside the set are the elements. So again, Describe the elements of each set. So this is set A. So what are these numbers? 4, 6, 8, and 12, 10, and 12. What do you call this number? They are even numbers and they are from 4 to 12. So it's the set of even numbers from 4 to 12. So are we right? Yes, we are right. Next. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So what do you call that set? So B is the set of B is the set of counting numbers from one to six. So these are counting numbers because you will use them to count numbers. So you can also have this one. It's for set set notation rather. Sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six. You can write that for the set notation. Next, set C. So set C. There's no 
element. So if there is no element, that's what we call the null set. The null set or the empty set is a set who doesn't have any element, so it's a null set. What are the examples of the null set? For example, all provinces in region 14. If I'm right, there is no region 14 in the Philippines, so there's no element, so that's a null set. Next is this one, 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and 18. Yes, very good. There are the factors of 18. So the set of factors of 18 are letter set D is equal to 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and 18. And as much as possible, please write the set or the elements in an organized manner. You can have them increasing or decreasing so that it would be easier to locate the element of the set. So another thing we're going to know is the universal set, the subset. So universal set is the set of where all the elements under consideration, where you can find the elements under consideration. So contain all the elements being considered in the given situation. While the subset is a set whose elements are members of another set. So to better understand that, so this is an example. So the universal set is the set of all elements. So it means mean, lahat itong nasa loob ng box are, is the universal set. Kasi la, itong sa loob ng box or ng square are the all of the elements being considered. Next, the subset is ito lang sa loob ng circle because yung element ng subset is nasa universal set. So ito siya. It's just a part of the universal set. So, ibig sabihin, this is a subset. So, set U is the universal set. Set U, this is U for the square. The set of numbers, these are the numbers from 1 to 10. 10, rather. So, U is 1, 2, 3. If there are so many, you can actually do this. 3, and then dot, 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 10. So, you don't need to write all of the elements, but because there are just few 1 to 10, you can just write 1 to 10. Next is the set Q. This is set Q is the subset of U because the elements here are found in the elements or in the set U. They are a set of even numbers from 1 to 10, then they are even numbers 2, 4, 6, 8, then from 1 to 10 or 2, from 2 to 10. 10. So there are even numbers. So set Q is even numbers from 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Again, the universal set is it's contain all the elements under consideration. Tapos ang subset is just a part of the universal set. It's just ang mga elements ng Q is makikita mo rin sa U. So that is Q is a subset of U. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to have to understand the union and the cardinality. So first one is um ito na dalawa na ang ang circle and this is what we call the Venn diagram. Kapag dalawa ng circle tapos nag-intersect sila. Dito sa gitna yung intersect nila. So um, the set U is yung lahat ng numbers sa loob ng rectangle or ng square. So, the set U here is, ano yung set U? Um, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 11, 14, 20, 21, 23. Again, set U is yung lahat ng numbers sa rectangle. So, that's U. Next, ang set A is yung lahat ng numbers sa circle A. Sa circle A, ang lahat ng numbers is 2, 4, 6, 14, or 11 first, 14, sorry for that, and 20. So, 11, 14, at saka 20. So, lahat itong, itong nandito, sa loob siya ng B, pero nasa A rin siya. So, ibig sabihin, part pa rin siya ng A. Set B is, nasa loob ng B, 4, 5, 7, 14, 20, 21, 23. So, 20, 21, 23. So, that is set for set B. So, the first question is, 
What elements are found in the union of A and B? Union of A and B. Ano ibig sabihin ng union? Yan ay combination. Ibig sabihin na sa dalawa. So, ang combination ng A at saka B is A union B. That's the symbol for union. So, lahat ng elements is 2, 5, sorry, 2, 5, 4. You can interchange them. 2, 5, 4, 6, 7, what's next? 11, 14, 20, 21, 23. Ibig sabihin yan, lahat ng elements sa A at sa B, that's the union. Next is, what is the cardinality of the union of A and B? The cardinality, ibig sabihin nito, is bilang ng elements. So, all you have to do is write N, ibig sabihin, the number of elements in A union B. That's the cardinality. Or simply write how elements are there. One, two, how many elements are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, ten sila lahat. So, N, A, union B is 10 or the answer here is 10. So next, what elements are found in the intersection? Intersection, ibig sabihin, it's anong nasa A na nasa B rin? Anong nasa A na nasa B rin is yung makikita dito sa gitna. Ibig sabihin, ito siya ang intersection. Ang union, itong lahat na nasa circle, but ang intersection, ito lang makikita sa gitna. So the elements, the intersection is A, intersection B. Ito siya U is the union. Ito namang baliktad na U is the intersection. So, ang makikita mo lang sa dalawa is 4, 14, 20. Ibig sabihin, anong makikita mo sa A na makikita mo rin sa B, that's the intersection which is 4, 14, and 20 in this part only of the circle. Next, what's the cardinality of the intersection of A and B? It's N, A, intersection B is equal to 1, 2, 3. That's Three. Next, what are the elements in A prime and of B prime? Ang A prime, ibig sabihin yan is, di ba, ano yung nasa U na wala sa A? Because it is an A prime, ibig sabihin, anong makikita mo sa U na wala sa A? Ibig sabihin, lahat ng nasa labas ni A. Anong mga numbers ang nasa labas ni A is yung ito. So, that's the answer. 5, 7, 21, and 23. Again, the A prime, it's anong makikita mo sa U na hindi mo makikita sa A. For B prime, it's anong makikita mo sa U na hindi mo makikita sa B. That's 2, 6, and 11. Kung may number pa dito sa labas, you're also going to include them. So, that's B prime is equal to 2, 6, and 11. So, that's what we call the complement of set B. So, the complement of set B, rather, is 2, 6, and 11. Now, we're going to talk about the difference. So, um, given this is set A, set A is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and B is 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Find A minus B and B minus A, or the difference of A and B and B and A. So, the difference of, find the difference A minus B, we begin by taking away every element of A that is also an element of B. Since A shares the element of 4, 5, and 6 with B, this gives us the set difference A minus B is equal to 1, 2, 3. So, what we're going to do again is, yung sa A, kasi A, bawasan ang B, ang A, bawasan mo yung mga element, elements, rather, na makikita sa B. So, ang elements na makikita mo sa B is yung 4, 5, 6. 4, 5, 6. So, ibig sabihin, ang natara na lang is 1, 2, 3. That's why the answer is 1, 2, 3. So, B minus A, ang B, bawasan mo ng mga elements na makikita sa A. So, ano yung makikita sa A? It's R the 4, 5, 6. So, ang natara na lang is 7, 8, 9, at saka 10. So, B minus A is equal to 7, 8, 9, and 10. So, these are the answers. These are the definitions. So, 
Um, for the activity, what we're going to do is we're going to describe set A. So describe set A. Ano yung nasa set A? Ano yung mga elements dito? So 5, 15, 10, 20. Ano yung ang tawag dito? The set of numbers from so on and so forth. Describe set B. Ano naman yung set B? It's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So there are multiples of 10 from 10 to 70. So... So next, you're going to answer, what is the A, what is the union of A and B? Ano yung combination ni A and B? Again, lahat-lahat ito, that's the answer. Kapag yun yun. Kapag intersection naman is, ano naman yung nasa gitna lang. So, cardinality of A. So, cardinality of A, it's, that's A prime. Cardinality, I no, sorry. The cardinality, rather, is ilan yung elements sa A. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so 7. So, what's the cardinality of B? So, ilan yung elements ng B? Tapos, A, yun yun B. Ilan yung answer mo dito sa number 3? So, that's the answer. So, for the evaluation, what you're going to do is you're going to describe universal set, the subset. So, for number 1, find the subset. What you're going to do here is you're going to write just like this. So, alam ba for x, y? So, the first is x, y. The second is x, the second is y, and this next is the empty set. Palagi may empty set. So, answer this all. Thank you.